Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna do this shit one time for that 2020. Say I ain't rocking with them folks. It all started when I was at home watching my dad working on his cars in the garage. I used to sit like in a little bucket watching my dad doing the carburetors, engines, body work, everything. So it got into me. It got into me working on lowrider cars, bombs, doing everything. So now I'm trying to teach them while my dad teach me. Do you see the way I'm banging? That's that I seen the devil and I think you want to play, man. Dear mama. Swearing for me means everything since I grew up with my dad. Since I was like eight, like setting up hydraulics, fixing arms, fixing the backs, fixing everything. Charging batteries, taking them off, setting up pumps, everything. Bitch, banging since a team, just following my dream. My family didn't care, so the streets raised me. I learned much. Lowrider's pretty big. They started up in LA. So it came down to San Diego, now it's TJ, now it's the whole Baja. So low riding, to me, it's a good feeling. Just cruising, people on the streets, throwing their thumbs up. That's your work right there. That's a nice feeling. You can't ask for nothing else. And the kids, they enjoy driving the car, hitting the hydraulics, cleaning them. Here, mama. Low riding to me is a lifestyle. It's uh, a way of life. You know, I love cars. I love the car scene. I love the cars, the hydraulics, uh, the low riding. I've always like the lower you are on the floor, the better. I keep on raising hell cause my life ain't no joke, dear mama. They wanna keep me down, but I keep on coming back. When I was on the early 18s, I used to be in gangs, do a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, in and out of jail. Now this is what changed me. Lowriders. I'm working on cars, old cars doing metal fabrication, hydraulics, paint, body work, you name it. So now I'm trying to teach the youngsters. Start focusing on cars instead of doing drugs. Doing what I did, my mistakes. So I don't want my nephews, friends, kids doing the same mistakes I did. Low running for me is being with like your family, showing off your cars, it feels, it's a good feeling, you know, more when you hit the switches, you know, it feels good, everyone looking at you, taking videos, yeah, it's a good feeling. It's nothing but family. We're club members, but it's family. We all pitched in, we all work on our cars, everybody works with us, they help us, we help them. We do a lot of charity, everything. I'm teaching them while my dad teach me. So my grandpa teach my dad, so it's, it's all a family thing. It's all familia. So this is what it is, Malamigos Car Club. It's family. The riding to me means everything. It's the culture of the, of the Mexicans and um, I'm passing it down to my kids. So it's a family thing that we all get together, friends, and it's just, it's just the, thing we, the way we do it. It's like a damn paradise, you know? You wake up early in the morning, you start cleaning your car, you, you know, you, you set up the tunes you're gonna be rolling with, you know, cause now with USBs, you know? Well, well cruising is waking up in the morning taking your car up to the driveway, watching it, cleaning it, bumping some oldies, Mexican rap. Like you said, low ride, it's slow and low, you know? You just kick back, it's like relieving, relieving stress, you know? You just get on your ride, drop it to the floor and just cruise here, some nice oldies, and just kicking it. I mean, just slow and low and just checking, going to see, see your scenery, the scenery around you, and just enjoying life, man. You're in no hurry to go nowhere. 
especially how low we are, we're in no hurry going over because we'll get stuck. <laughs> It feels really good, especially when people are looking at you, like saying nice things about your car, trying to take pictures every day. Especially if you're here in the right jam, you're just cruising. It's just like time's going slow. Uh, it's like really slow. Then, you know, you go, people always, people stop you, you know, say, hey, you like your car. They take pictures. Um, you get the thumbs up most of the time. Um, you're at a stop sign, people look at your car and go, wow, you know, that's a beautiful car. Stuff like that makes you feel good, you know? I hope the wife doesn't see this, but you spend a lot of money. A lot of money. You want to be better than the rest of the people. So you go to a car show, you see your, another 64, and you see, whoa, that trunk looks better than mine. I'm coming out next year looking even better. It takes a while to finish a project, you know, but it's good to see the kids start with a, you know, a stock car, which pretty much behind you there's one, and they just start building it up, building it up, building it up. Well, you never finish a car. You want to spend more and more and more and more, and that's where all your money goes. This is how we get down. We take it right, motherfucker, better leg down. Fool is on sight, I don't want to come here to kill and tear down. And my dream car, well, I don't really have one, but I like Impalas a lot. The thing about Impalas, it's the line, the line of the car. It stands out. Everybody wants to have an Impala, even when I was a youngster. I used to say an Impala used to be, that's my car. And one day I'm gonna have one. I'm a Chevy guy. <laughs> Oh, I like all the cars. I got I got this car, it's a 48 Chevy Fleetline. I got a Harley Davidson. I got some 64 Impalas. I mean, I got a couple of different cars. So, I mean, I'm not just one, one type of car guy. I like them all. On all car shows, it's competition. On the street, it's family. We're all together. There's a street called Revolution. We go over there, hang every Sunday. So we gather all clubs, are welcome, everything. We park, have a good time, we do a couple of cruises. There are gonna be a couple of guys on their 4x4s, burning rubbers, on their Hondas, even on the Impalas. It gets to us. The car speaks for itself. The car speaks for the culture. I mean, there's not much words I can say. The car says it all by itself. This is my work. I want people to appreciate my work, what I do. We start from the bottom. We don't buy them, we build them. I don't know, it's, that's me.